Hello everyone, welcome. Today we're going to have a new lesson here in our channel, Learning from Home with Teacher Rosa. Okay, now we are going to talk about the different needs of plants. What are these needs of plants? Let's have this first. Our learning objectives first. Let us identify the needs of plants and explain why plants need certain things in order to grow. Let's go. Okay, now plants are very important. Why? Because they give us food, the fruits, and the vegetables. They provide fresh air, the oxygen that we are breathing. They create habitats for animals. These habitats are in the different places, especially for the forest. Okay, next. Like human beings, plants have needs for them to grow healthy. What are these needs and what do they need in order to grow? Plants need soil, water, sunlight, air, space. So these are the five needs of plants. Again, plants need soil, water, sunlight, air, and space. Let's talk more about this. Let's have this one by one. First, we have soil. Plants anchor their roots to the soil. They get water and nutrients from the soil. Like these little buddies here, they are planted in the soil. Farmers, they have what we call nursery. These are um, the place where the seeds are planted to grow into a seedling and then they will transfer this into their garden or in their farms, okay? So that they will grow healthy. So this area, this nursery, they provide healthy soil. And so also with the soil that are being, uh, that will be, that these plants will be transferred in that place also. Thus, they need a healthy soil in that area, okay? Where they are free or their roots are free to get water and nutrients from that soil, okay? Again, the first need of plant is the soil. Okay, next. Plants need water. Water helps transport nutrients from roots to the stem and to the different parts of the plant. Without water, the plant will wilt and die. Just like us, plants also need water. Okay, if we are not going to give water or not going to water our plants, they will eventually wilt. And then if it continues to have no water at all, they will die like this. I don't like our plants to be like that. So we need to water them every day because water, again, helps transport nutrients from the roots to the stem, and to the different parts of the plant. Okay, the second need of plant is the water. Very good. Now let's proceed to the next one. We have the air, this one. Okay, for this need of plant, plants need carbon dioxide. Carbon dioxide is a gas given off by human and animals. Carbon dioxide is absorbed by tiny openings in the leaves of the plants called stomata, like this one. Okay, so plants need the carbon dioxide. This one is carbon dioxide. CO2 is carbon dioxide. And in return, 
plants give off oxygen the health uh, the fresh air that we are breathing that human and human and animals need that's the oxygen meanwhile the plants need or absorb carbon dioxide okay that is needed in making their food okay here the next one is sunlight sunlight helps the plants in their or in making their food through the process called photosynthesis so the plants process their food they make their food through this process the process of photosynthesis photosynthesis is the process by which plants use sunlight water and carbon dioxide to create oxygen and energy in the form of sugar so again plants make their food together with water sunlight and carbon dioxide that's the process of, through the process of photosynthesis okay next up we have another the space plants need space for roots to spread out and grow they will not compete for nutrients from the soil and they can also get good access of sunlight that's why farmers and gardeners they make sure that their plants and crops they have proper spacing before they will plant them for example the farmer plants some crops like corn they make sure that the distance or the space between the first seed or the seed to the next seed will be will be proper there is a space between them proper spacing so that again the roots can spread out and then they will not compete for nutrients within within that area of the soil okay that's for the space but in a forest there is no there is no control of space because it's nature okay nature um will be the one to yeah they will uh, the nature nature will only know where they're going to grow okay and then only the gardeners can uh the gardeners can control okay for their crops for their plants okay next let's sum it up let's have a summary of plants uh, the needs of plants first we have the soil then the second the water next the sunlight and then the air the carbon dioxide and the last one the space again these are the five things that plants need to grow healthy and strong and of course grow much healthier that's it okay let's take note that plants need sunlight to make food plants anchor their roots to the soil water transport nutrients that keep plants healthy plants need carbon dioxide and plants need enough space all right so let's answer these questions what are the needs of plants All right, very good kids. The needs of plants are soil, water, sunlight, air, and space. Very good. Now, the second one. Why do plants need a sunlight? Great, very good. Plants need sunlight to be able to make its food together with water, and carbon dioxide they will go through a process of what's the process yes that's photosynthesis it's a process of making food for the plant okay, very good next what will happen to the plants if their needs are not met okay if there is no soil or the soil is not good or if there is no sunlight not enough sunlight okay very good the plant will not grow properly 
or maybe it will become, um, it will wilt or it will die. Yes. So sadly, if these needs are not met, they will die. They will not grow properly. All right. That's all for today. Those are the different needs of plants. Thank you very much. And if you are new to my channel, please consider subscribing here and like the video if you learned something. Until next time, goodbye.